Hey guys, welcome back to WP Event Manager. And in this video, we're gonna talk about profile avatar settings. So this is a topic related to our WP user profile avatar plugin. Previously, we took a look at some of its features such as uh, the username changing on our WordPress website, limiting upload file size limit. And today we're gonna take a look at the settings section. So without wasting time, let's get on with the topic and we're gonna visit the profile avatar settings over here. So over here you will find like certain settings that you can tweak from. So I'm going to go one by one and explain it to you uh, what it does and what values we can expect out of it. Okay. So first we have avatar visibility. It's pretty much self-explanatory. So this checkbox over here, it turns uh, the visibility for avatars. It's global settings. Either you can turn it on or turn it off. Okay. And then we have settings. So the, over here uh, we have three checkboxes. So I'm going to go one by one add shortcode avatar button to visual editor okay so let me open a new page on a new tab and i'm gonna show you what uh, this checkbox over here means right so i'm using like the classic editor over here and you see there's a little uh, button over here that says wp user profile avatar right and over here if you click that you will be able to configure uh, certain parameters and insert a shortcode over here okay and you can like even uh, include the uploading form for the front end side so user can use that to upload or like update their avatar as well so this checkbox over here controls whether to show or not show this button over here okay and then we have allow contributors and subscriber to upload avatars so the contributors and subscribers uh, those are like user roles in our wordpress website will be able to upload avatars as well and disable all default gravatar and set own custom default avatar so by default wordpress uses something called gravatar okay so that's like their default uh, way to handling avatars and if we check this on and save changes instead wordpress will use our default avatar from uh, below section over here okay then we have avatar rating so these are like uh, grading or rating for avatars so g means suitable for all audiences PG means possibly offensive or usually audience uh, like let's say 13 and above. So this is like content rating for avatars, all right? Then we have R intended for adult audiences above 17. And then we have X is like for even more mature audience, okay? So these are content rating for the avatars. And then we have default avatar. So over here, uh, we have the default avatar uh, selection. You can use uh, the provided avatars over here. You can even choose a new image to use as uh, the default avatar on the website as well. Okay. So if we choose this and save changes, that will use uh, this avatar in global wide. Uh, whenever a user doesn't have an avatar uploaded or updated, uh, then they will use this avatar as the default one. Okay. So uh, for this to work, we need to check this uh, checkbox over here as well. Keep that in mind. And we provide you with some default, let's say, avatar options over here that you can choose, like the mystery man that's being used over here, blank, gravatar logo, identicon, avatar monster ID, and retro. So these are all are generated, okay? So let's save changes. So right after saving the changes, our profile now uses uh, this logo over here that we changed over here. And I explained to you each settings uh, one by one and what values you can expect out of them. I hope this video gave you a bit of context about the settings of WP User Profile Avatar. And if you fail to understand anything, let us know in the comment. We'll be sure to help you out. Until next time, I'm Sharad saying goodbye. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.